Welcome students. In this brief video I want to show you how to set up WinSCP FTP client for use in our class. You can see I have WinSCP open here and if we click on the About button you can see we're using version 5.1.7. Uh, you'll want to use the most recent version that you can of the software. Currently it's that one. All right, we have this open. Before we get started in configuring the FTP client, I want to make sure that you have the proper folders on your computer hard drive. So uh, switching over here to Windows Explorer uh, on a PC, I want to go to my Documents folder, and you can see here I've created a website folder. If you're using a Mac, do the similar thing on your Mac. Go to wherever you save all your files and folders. Create a folder called Website. Then go ahead and side that and see it's empty right now. I'm going to right click here and go new, new folder. And I want to create a folder called images. Um, and this is going to be where we'll save all the images for our website. Typically you'll create a separate folder to hold different types of documents. So we've got that. Okay, once that's done, you can close down Windows Explorer. And now we just have WinSCP open. When you first open it, you'll see a screen like this. And we're going to want to go to stored sessions. Currently, I don't have any stored sessions on this client. I'm going to go ahead and make a new one. So up here on the right, I click on New. And uh, we're going to make sure we're connecting with the FTP protocol instead of the other options. We're not using SFTP or SCP, using FTP. And then the encryption type is no encryption. Okay, We're not using any kind of encryption for this. Then we go ahead and type in the host name. This is information that I gave you the other evening in class. You can type that in, worldclasstech.net, and it's port 21. Then you're going to want to enter your username. Again, something I gave to you at class the other night. And that is your username at worldclasstech.net. And then you'll want to put in uh, your username, or excuse me, your password. I think I got that in there right. I'm going to type it one more time just to make sure. Okay, get your password in. You do not need anything in the account window. We're not using anonymous login. Now, uh, down here um, on the bottom, there's an option for advanced options. You want to turn that on. You can see more things here. And uh, we're going to go to the environment area tab. And uh, we're going to leave all of the options kind of on their defaults, which you see here. And uh, the encoding is auto. Well, let's go to directories next. Uh, we can leave these uh, default settings set, as in remembering the last used directory. However, down here in local directory, we're going to enter in the local folder on our computer hard drive that we just created, that website folder. And here's how we do it. We'll click on the Browse button here and go ahead to your Documents folder and find that website folder that you just created. Okay, And don't select the Images folder inside it, just select the website folder and click OK. It should look something like this when you get it done. Okay, And now uh, you can leave these other options uh, set on their default, cached cache visited remote directories, cache directory changes, and permanent cache would be fine to have selected. We're not going to put anything in the remote directory here. Leave that blank. Uh, the next thing would be, uh, you can see under FTP, it's got uh, selected force IP address for passive mode. Uh, that's fine to leave at its default. And its um, next important selection is the connection pane. You want to make sure that the connection is set to passive mode. It's very important. We're not using active mode for these connections. And um, that's pretty much it. Proxy make sure the proxy type is set to none. Okay. Once all that is done, you can come in here and click on Save. You want to save your settings. Um, you might just want to call it Class Server uh, as a recognizable name for this, or you can call it anything you want. You can turn on Save Password um, if you prefer. Uh, that way you don't have to put it in every time. And then you click OK. All right, now we come back and we see in our stored sessions here that uh, protocol, or excuse me, that configuration uh, file that we just created for our class server. Uh, once we have that, it's all set up correctly. All we have to do is click on Login button down below, and you'll see a series of messages that are telling you um, the communication uh, going on between your computer 
and the remote server. Let me make this a little smaller here so you can see it all. All right. Once we're in here, you'll see two panes, a uh, left and a right pane. In the left side here uh, is the website folder that we uh, just set set up on our local hard drive and as you can see it has an images folder in it otherwise it's empty and this is where you're going to build your website on your local machine on the right hand side we now see the remote web server <clears throat> and we should be able to see when you uh, log in that you have a CGI bin folder and you have an FTP quota file and you have an index.html you may or may not have an images folder um, but these other three files um, folders you should have for sure and that index.html is the temporary index file web page that I put in your uh, remote directory. So that's how you get logged in. And in the next exercise, you'll see um, you'll have the opportunity to upload files into this remote web, uh, web directory. This again is how to set up WinSCP to access a remote web server directory.